LG has started rolling out the latest firmware of 3.21.16 to C10 or CX OLEDs. But did you know that besides restoring the original peak brightness in HDR game mode, LG has also implemented a fix for a long-standing issue? Let me show you. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HGTV Test here. A few weeks ago, I published a video demonstrating that LG's firmware version 3.21.09 actually decreased the peak brightness in HDR game mode on C10 or CX OLEDs, even though the firmware brought about some benefits in Dolby Vision content in terms of the suppression of near-black posterization. Now, at that time, LG reached out to us and promised to fix the issue in a later firmware and fast forward to today, the firmware has started rolling out worldwide, so maybe you may have even received the latest firmware of 3.21.16 on your C10 or CX OLED. I have to say that, you know, <laughs> LG's response is as swift as the album production rate of Taylor Swift in lockdown, and I'm mightily impressed. But I have the firmware 3.21.16 installed on my LG 48-inch C10 or CX OLED, which I use for HDR grading and I'm going to show you the before and after charts when it comes to HDR game mode peak brightness. So as you can see here, after I installed the firmware, the peak brightness in HDR game mode indeed went back to the original level. So it gained about 100 nits from the previous firmware of 3.21.09, matching the pre-03.21.09 peak brightness in HDR game mode, and you can see that the tone curve is tracking the PQ EOTF standard extremely well until the roll off. So from that point of view, I have no complaints whatsoever when it comes to the HDR peak brightness in HDR game mode now after installing firmware 3.21.16. But when I watched some Netflix Dolby Vision programs to try and ascertain whether the previous benefits of reduction in near-black posterization still stayed with the new firmware of 3.21.16, I found a surprise benefit. Because if you can compare this scene from Mindhunter, I think it is season 1, episode 1, side by side, you can see that on the older firmware of 3.21.09, the near-blacks are actually elevated and on the latest firmware of 3.21.16, the near blacks are inkier. So what has happened here? If you have been following this channel and if you have been watching my previous reviews of LG's 2020 Alpha 9 Gen 3 OLEDs, including the LG CX or C10 and also the GX on our review sample, we did find the first steps out of black to be too bright on the factory default brightness value of 50 in all HDR picture modes, giving the impression of raised blacks. Our LG 65GX review sample suffered from overbrightened near black EOTF in HDR mode, occasionally causing blacks to float and dark scenes to appear slightly washed out. You may have noticed that I have complained about an overbrightened near black presentation in HDR content on these LG 2020 OLEDs. And if I can draw your attention to this scene here in the Revenant, you can see that, you know, as the scene fades to black from the opening logo and then fades out from black again, you can see that, you know, there's a jump in terms of the luminance on screen. And you know, it is ungainly and it is ugly and it is not as smooth as what a reference monitor should be, even though you know I may be a bit harsh to try and put a reference monitor standard on a consumer display, but you know what I mean. So after installing firmware 03.21.16, I measured the HDR tone curve and indeed if you look at these two charts here one before and one after the firmware you can see that on the previous firmware of 
there is this bump here in the shadow regions that indicates that this area here is too bright and because the bump is not even smooth so let's say you have a ramp up from black there will be a sudden jump in luminance which is what we saw in the Revenant on all the firmwares that I've tested until the latest one on any of LG's 2020 OLEDs and if you look at the after chart you can see here that the ramp is much smoother the bump has disappeared and i think you know what lg did was to darken the 1d LUT near black and you can see that you know the shadows may look slightly darker than reference but at least it is not bumpy so the transition in terms of coming out from black will be much smoother and indeed once we play this scene from the revenant again I will show it to you side by side and I hope that you can pardon the noisier footage because I may be using a very high ISO to capture such low light detail and you can see that the transition or fade out from black is smoother with the latest firmware of 3.21.16 Next, let's move on to the previous scene in Mindhunter Season 1 Episode 1 towards the end again and you can see that with the side-by-side -side comparison the latest firmware of 3.21.16 allowed the blacks to look inkier and it doesn't look that washed out because this is a dark scene and it is not meant to look as washed out as it looked on the previous firmware of 3.21.9 so from that point of view I think LG has done a good job to finally darken the region near black in HDR mode and it doesn't only apply to HDR mode because this Mindhunter scene is actually in Dolby Vision so I think what LG engineers have done is to darken the 1D LUT near black globally so it will apply to HDR10 and Dolby Vision content as well and I think you know if you look at the PQ EOTF tracking you can see that the shadows are going to be a bit darker than reference but when I put up a black clipping pattern from the excellent Ryan Marciola test disc I could still see all the shadow detail even though it is darker I still think that that is more acceptable than the whole thing being over brightened and looking more washed out and I hope that many of you will see the same benefits as well now obviously this will depend from panel to panel and you know I cannot actually speak for all the individual C10 or CX or G10 or GX units out there because there is always going to be panel to panel variation at play but I would like to think that the majority of LG C10 or CX or G10 or GX OLEDs will benefit from this latest firmware that will darken the originally over bright near black presentation in HDR content and in Dolby Vision content and some of you may experience some crushing of shadow detail in Dolby Vision mode depending on what your TV's original panel response is but I think from the point of view of what LG engineers have done in my professional opinion this is probably as good as we can hope for because originally the near black presentation in HDR mode and also in Dolby Vision mode is just simply too bright and it caused many issues from what you guys may be describing as race blacks and it made the near black posterization even more prominent and currently with a global darkening of the 1D LUT I think what we have seen is a generic darkening and maybe shadow detail will look slightly darker maybe there would be some crushing of shadow detail in Dolby Vision mode depending on your original panel response but when I put some test patterns in HDR10 mode you know the shadow detail is still there it is just slightly darker than reference and I don't think that you know being brighter with a bump is actually better than what it is now Obviously, you know, we would like it to be perfect, but you have to remember that these are consumer displays and, you know, everyone's panel is different and there is no way for LG engineers to make 
a uniform 1D LUT response that will allow every single person to be happy <laughs> in terms of the shadow detail response. So from that point of view, I think this is the best that we can hope for. And I really want to thank them for at least listening and <laughs> implementing a fix for the overbright near black presentation in HDR10 and Dolby Vision mode nine months down the line after launch. You know, it's better late than never. If you'd like to watch more videos about the LG C10 or CX OLED, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it. And I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.